Chelsea is taking on Arsenal tomorrow and I'm here to bring you the probable starting 11 of Chelsea as they're obviously going to line up. Their manager known as Pochettino has today gone ahead and obviously had a lot to say about the team of Arsenal like he said the following that we think we need to win tomorrow but we respect Arsenal which is a good team against Mikel Arteta who is part of my family we will meet him tomorrow they are doing good job and a contender to win everything not just the Premier League but also the Champions League so Pochettino has gone ahead and really given Arsenal a nod of really winning the Premier League and the Champions League that they are really working towards that side and I don't really disagree with him I agree with him 100% that Arsenal is really having the mantle to obviously clinch those and um, he also said about the international break that they trained very well with 10 11 12 13 14 academy kids with only Raheem Sterling Mark Chirella and Thiago Silva and of course Robert Sanchez he says he had only one day of training with his full squad again ahead of Arsenal so he only trained on Thursday that is it but even today they've gonna hate obviously find themselves training into into the Cobham to see to it that they obviously get ready to take on the side of Arsenal and this is the most interesting bit of it that most of you need to know about it and uh, <clears throat> he was asked about the returnees and those that are really not okay and not a variable he said we need to assess now because we finished training a little late we need to assess Nico Jackson Rest James and Broja is out because he's irritated in his knee, the other knee than it was in the past. We need to see with others if they can play, be on the bench and be on the list. Now, this is where I come in through and bring you what the source of Chelsea is gonna hate to give us. This is Ninza Kinsella. He's an us. He's a Chelsea correspondent for the standard, uh, for the Evening Standard. He has told us that Cole Palmer is not on Chelsea's injury list that is it because he was one of those players that was really ruled out when Chelsea was obviously going to take on Arsenal and he was injured in the under 21s but to me I believe this is where experience comes in through and you don't need to rush a player ever much as gonna hit return if I only had a knock he might be doubtful then James DeSassi and Jackson these are the ones that really result that really desire to be really uh the last time last minute assessment and buddy shield is has returned and is fit enough to be on the bench so those out are broja chaloba chukumeka chilwell for fana lavia and inkunku those are the injured players of chelsea as we go into this predicted or probable starting 11 for the side of chelsea so smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily rock and david is my name and <laughs> we thank god for the gift of life so the muslims welcome back from prayer and uh baraklao fikum the christians may the living to god bless him abundantly and let's start it off with how we believe chelsea is going to line up as they take on arsenal <clears throat> now when you look at um the system that chelsea is going to play oh it's going to be a four two three one right it's a 4-2-3-1 system and that's what they are going to play and uh, I'm, I'm sorry because I'm gonna hate to obviously make it a 4-3-3 but all formations come from that so 4-2-3-1 is the system that Chelsea is going to play as they took on a side of Arsenal at the Stamford Bridge and we start off with the goalkeeper Robert Sanchez I think he's going to be in between the stitches for this side he's the first choice goalkeeper <clears throat> after the departure of Eduardo Mendy and uh, Kepa as a Balaga, no reason to doubt on who is going to be the first choice goalkeeper of Chelsea tomorrow as Arsenal is being hosted by Chelsea. Right back, this man is going to return. I think he is really fit to play. That is Rest James. He's really ready to take on the side of Arsenal. Maybe if he's not fresh, maybe the manager would, would not really rush him back. But I believe there is a perfect game to return as the captain of Chelsea. It's this London derby that obviously shows a player who grew up at the side of Chelsea. He knows exactly what this derby is all about. Chelsea has all along been the pride of London ever since Arsenal did the invisible. 
And now looks like Arsenal is going to take over. So Chelsea need to work ahead, need to work hard to see it that they see this go to where it deserves to be. So Rhys James is obviously expected to start at the, at the right back. Left back with um, Chirwell injured. They are left with Kukurela and Colwell. So I don't know who is obviously in the right fit to play because one will say, why don't we play Colwell in the left back? So it will depend on the situation of Disasi. So... <clears throat> I think it's going to be Colwell playing on the left back of Chelsea. That is it. Very young, talented player. He can play as a left back. He can play as a left-sided centre back. That is Colwell. And um, on the right side of the central defence, it's going to be De Sassi returning from injury. And um, alongside the 38, 39-year-old Brazilian international, that is Thiago, Al Thiago Silva. Now... You might see this lineup change depending on how the fitness levels of these players are. You might see to it that Kikrela could come in through and play as a left back, then Cole will play as a left back because of the disaster situation. Maybe Badishil can also really return and play onto the left side of the central defense. And Chelsea is becoming good, by the way. We go to the midfield. Obviously, Keisido is obviously going to come in through and tussle it out with Declan Rice. Remember, Arsenal firstly wanted Declan Rice, sorry, Quesido in the January transfer window. Brighton blocked his move. And finally, they went ahead to obviously sell him to Chelsea. And that is Moise Quesido in that CDM role. Then, alongside him in the double pivot is going to be Enzo Fernandez. I believe that's going to be the double pivot of Chelsea, Enzo Fernandez. I know they want to play with Kona Garaga, but uh, I think it's better to see to it that he play. Keisido and Enzo Fernandez with this. But if they also do Garaga and Keisido into that mid, and then they'll find a way of aligning them better. So that is the midfield of Chelsea. The double pivot might be of Garaga and Keisido, <coughs> then Mo, uh, Enzo Fernandez playing ahead of them. That is it. Then we go to the we go to the we go to the front three and we start it off with the left forward. Sorry, the right forward. I know <clears throat> Carl Palmer has been performing very well, but with him having a knock, you don't really have to rush him into this beautiful game of football. The result is going to be very intensive. It's better you start off with Raheem Sterling and then you bring Carl Palmer on because Carl Palmer might be having a very good go against Arsenal because before they sold him to the Chelsea side. He's down who scored against Arsenal in the Community Shield at Wembley. Though Arsenal came later, leveled the game through the Leandro Trossard shot that was deflected by <clears throat> by a kanji in the back of the net. Then they went to penalties and Arsenal found themselves really winning after uh, Kevin De Bruyne missed that penalty. Then on the left, on the left, um, I think it should be Mokalo Modric, lightening form. Even at the national team, you know, to perform very well, put up an assist and created a uh, put up an assist and scored one goal. That is Mokalo Modric, obviously bringing in a lot to the team of Chelsea. And I think he's going to be facing <coughs> none other than um, Ben White. So, leading the line with Broja or with all those problems, Nicholas Jackson has to come in through. Remember, he underwent what we call a wrist injury, and that wrist injury obviously forced him. To obviously get a surgery as they went in the international break and he never went to play for his national team so that is it and that's the starting level and expect it that it faces arsenal at the at the stamford bridge they're trying to become good this is the biggest test of all they are going to face live alone that game of liverpool that they played at the beginning at the beginning of the season but this one is really very very important because if they win it, they at least go to 14 points and they'll be closing in to the top four positions. And with the competition being stiff into the league this season, you need not to be far off from those positions. But let's see. Rest James is obviously going to be facing Martinelli. Colwell will be facing Bukayo Saka. Um, Thiago Silva and uh, Di Sassi will be facing um, Gabriel Jesus. Um, Keisido facing Declan Rice. Um, let's do it together. Keisido, Enzo Fernandez, and Conor Garaga will be facing Declan Rice, um, Thomas Partey, Olkai Havertz, and um, 
and um, Martin Odegaard. Then Raheem Sterling will be facing Zinchenko. Former teammates at Man City meeting again to tussle it out. And obviously, Mokalo Modric facing Ben White. Ben White needs to be having a very, very, very good night. He needs to sleep well because he's going to be busy. He's going to be kept busy. He needs to be on high alert because this boy is coming to form. And we know that the talent is there. And he's hitting the form with a lot of confidence. It being instilled in him by the manager of Chelsea, that is Mauricio Pochettino. Then, Nicholas Jackson facing William Saliba and, um, and uh, Gabriel Magales. What they need to know about this guy is that uh, for him, he has the physicality, but he's a different kind of striker altogether. He's not like the Odegaards. Odegaard, sorry, he's not like the Haaland. Haaland is really one kind of player who will obviously come in through and really use the energy. But this guy has the energy, he has the height, and he has the brain. So, I told you my prediction. 2-1 win for Arsenal. I don't know what your thoughts are about it. I will come it into the comment section below. I sign out for now. See you later. Bye-bye.